Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about my most anticipated releases for March. So these romance releases that are coming out in March are ones that I'm super excited for and like I've said in my other videos, I don't assume that I'm going to be reading all of these but I am anticipating them and I'll read them at some point so be sure to put these on your tbr if you are interested so i'm going to be going in order of when they come out so first on march 1st i have finally home by holly crawford okay so it looks like our hero and heroine are best friends and from the day that our hero met the heroine ren it was like love at first sight for him he fell in love but she kind of put him in the friend zone so they've been best friends ever since because he still wants her in his life. Then he stood next to her as she married his teammate and let the idea of her being his fade away. Only now she's back in Charleston, single, staying in his house, wearing his number, and he's more determined than ever to prove she doesn't need any man, but she can have him. Like, that sounds so fun. Like that sounds really angsty to me. On March 2nd, I have Lights Out by Kayla James. This is a Formula One romance. I think I saw this on Instagram with like the trope tags all around it. And I was like, ooh, that looks fun. This one's about Blake and Ryder. It looks like both of them, both the hero and the heroine are Formula One racers, which is so fun. I've never ever seen that in a book. So Formula One has been Blake's dream ever since she saw her first race and was captivated by a driver with pride shining in his green eyes as he held his trophy high. Eight years later, she gets her chance to make it a reality. And then the same driver who ignited her love for racing, who she idolized in her youth, and whose posters currently line her bedroom walls is her new teammate. His name is Ryder. And I guess his dad was like a very famous Formula One racer and he's kind of like taking up that mantle. And nothing in his life has been more important than keeping up with his father's legacy, but then Blake comes in the picture and things shift. So both characters are Formula One racers. That sounds so fun. I don't know if this book comes out on March 5th or March 25th, cause there's like two dates, so I'm not sure. But Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage comes out, which is the second book in the Rebel Blue Ranch series. I read the first one. I can't remember the title of it for the life of me. Oh, it's Done and Dusted. Right, Done and Dusted. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and this is the sequel. And I think it's about her friend, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. I don't want to read the summary. I want to go in blind. Um, but I really enjoyed Done and Dusted. And I'm so excited that Lila Sage is now like a picked up author. Like she got picked up by a publisher, which is so amazing for her. I'm so happy for her. And I'm definitely going to be supporting her and her new release in March. On March 10th, I have Falling for Fury by Brittany Renee. This one's about Addison and Noah. So Addison has been battling with mental health issues while harboring deep wounds from a complicated relationship with her parents leaving her guarded and hesitant to trust others. Noah is a successful businessman driven by a promise he made to his mother and a desire to make his late father proud. He's sworn off love, focused solely on his career and personal goals when meeting Addison shatters his carefully constructed emotional walls. That happens in so many romance books, I love it. Their paths cross unexpectedly, igniting a passionate connection neither of them saw coming. As they navigate the tumultuous waters of their budding romance, they must confront their deepest fears and insecurities. So I heard that this has mental health representation, and so I'm always going to pick out a, a romance book that has mental health rep. Then on March 11th is Wilted Verdue by Jade Waltz. Like, look at this cover. I think this cover artist has done quite a few, like, monster romance and romance uh, covers recently, and they're beautiful. They're so stunning. So it looks like our hero is an alien and um, he's dying and the only way to like keep him alive is to find his fated mate. And then a human woman crashes onto his planet and begs the hero to save her. I think someone's chasing her but she ends up saving him because she's his fated mate. But then she keeps insisting on him helping her get back to her home world and like maybe she doesn't understand that they are fated mates. I'm not sure but this looks really fun. It's apparently like a slow burn sweet and steamy alien romance seems really good on march 12th is the wickedness of a highlander i think this book got pushed back i think it was in my previous like my february releases video but it got pushed back which is totally fine this is the newest book in the midnight in scotland series which is a historical romance series that i love by elisa braden and yeah i don't know who this is about i don't want to know who this is about i'm just gonna go in blind but i really enjoyed this series Annalisa Braden, so this one's definitely on my list. Next, this one seemed really cute. This one is by Anderson. This is If You Give a Single Dad a Nanny. 
I'm always a sucker for the single dad nanny trope. Like I am obsessed with it. It's like catnip to me. So this one's about Marlo who <laughs> needs to stop fantasizing about the hot single dad next door. His name is Dylan. He's grumpy and doesn't seem to like Marlo very much. He lives next door literally next door to her perfect pink house and there are no secrets in a small town those are the three reasons why she cannot fall for him she's an optimistic artist never living in one place for long he's a cynical billionaire trying to raise his kid on his own like a normal person since i'm not since she's not going to fall for dylan it shouldn't matter that he shovels my driveway or looks at me like he could devour me one kiss later i marlo james and completely screwed yes please gonna read that. On March 15th, I have Rewrite the Stars by Jade Waltz, another Jade Waltz book. This is the second book in her uh, Cosmic Threads of Fate series. This is number two. I have not read number one, but I am meaning to because these books are giving me Avatar vibes, um, but like flipped, gender flipped. So the uh, hero is like the alien creature and then the heroine is the human like coming onto the planet. But this series just looks really good. I loved Avatar. I was definitely in my Avatar phase when the second one came out, <laughs> like huge Avatar phase. Um, so I definitely want to pick up this series and yeah, the next one comes out on March 15th. Next is a Freddy Yeti by Ivy Tempest. I think a bunch of like monster alien romance authors are coming out with books with this theme. Yeah, it's called the Monster Mate Mayhem series. And I think Honey Phillips is coming out with one at like the very end of February about a wolf shifter. So like one about a Yeti seems so funny. I need to pick it up. I don't know what it's about, but this one comes out also on March 15th. Next is Balancing Act by Kate McWilliams, which comes out on March 21st. This is a steamy enemies to lovers, grumpy sunshine, small town, a western romance filled with heat, humor, and a hint of suspense. That gives me like Catherine Cowles vibes. So hopefully I like this one as much as I love her books. So our hero um, owns the Red Downs Ranch and he is having a little bit of trouble with the person who owned the, who owns the ranch like next door to him and um, they want to fix up that land and make it into kind of like a place where um, celebrities can come and like vacation and he's like oh no not on my watch and it's his romance with the person trying to open that so it's like enemies to lovers like the first part said in the blurb so seems really fun. Um, and the cover really drew me in on this one. Next is Catching Feelings by Maren Moore, the second book in her Orleans University series. Again, another book where I need to read the first one and then get to this one. This is a sports romance, baseball romance. This one comes out. It says it's supposed to come out on March 22nd, but then it also says August 28th. Man, why are there two different, why are there two different release dates? I don't know. I'm putting it on, I'm just gonna say what it is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's no blurb yet. So maybe the August one is more realistic. I don't know, but I need to read the first book in this series. And I also want to read this one because I need some more baseball romances in my life. Next is She Came for Blood by Darva Green. This one comes out on March 25th. This is apparently like a sapphic fantasy or paranormal book. This one's about Anna and Marzana. Oh, it's a vampire romance. <gasps> it's a vampire romance. Sapphic vampires. Okay. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Next is Take My Hand by McKay Marie. This is McKay's next book in the Whisper Me Nothings series, which is a, a rock star romance series. And this one comes out on March 25th. I know she recently finished her draft for this one. So I'm so excited to just read and support her. Like I love McKay so much. I'm so excited and happy for her that she is writing that is so cool so my lovely friend mckay from oh hey it's mckay is coming out with a book in march go pick it up please i love her and she deserves all the love and praise and everything then on march 26th is a bride for the water god by raven flanagan 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 i'm so sorry i'm butchering that um this one's on kindle limited it's a novella and it says marilla's village is suffering from a drought so desperate for divine intervention she's chosen as a sacrificial bride for the water god she must make it through the turbulent sea and the monsters that lurk in the deep if she hopes for the god to accept her when an enormous beast rises from the sea the moment her boat is on the verge of sinking marilla thinks all is lost until she wakes up on an island and there's a dragon between her thighs okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. next i have the witch queen of halloween by cressley cole this is book number 18.5 in the immortals after dark series i don't know what this is about i don't want to know what it's about it's a cressley cole book in the immortals after dark series say less if you want paranormal romance books 
that you'll become utterly obsessed with, look no further. These books are so, so good. They're so good. Like, mm, I need it. I don't know why a Halloween book is coming out in March, but I'll take it. I will take it. It's a Cressley Cole in Mortals After Dark book. I'll take anything. And the last book that I have is Darkest Sins by Neva Altaj, which comes out on March 28th. This is book number nine in her Perfectly Imperfect series, which is a mafia romance series. I'm going to be getting this arc sometime in the beginning of March. So I'm excited about that because I am on Neva's arc team. I'm gonna read a summary for this one because I honestly know nothing about it. I'm gonna be reading the arc for it. So this one's about Nira and Kai. So in Nira's perspective, it says, in a night of blood and death, fate brought us together. I thought I was saving the life of an innocent man, a man I'd never see again. I was wrong. A slight shift in the air, a glint of silver eyes in the darkness. I may not see him, but I know he's there. My angel of death lurking in the shadows, watching over me, protecting me before disappearing into thin air until we meet again. A man who took a bullet for me, but he won't touch me, love me, or even share his name. In Kai's perspective, he says, darkness, pain, blood, it's all I've ever known. An empty shell of a human being, no heart, no soul, no dream, surrounded by death. I was a dead man walking, but then her light shone in my darkness, breathing life into my dead soul, my fearless tiger cub, the only reason to keep living. Every time I have to leave her in the light, my black heart breaks and bleeds. As I retreat to the shadows where I belong, I cannot change the past, cannot take back what I've done, my darkest sin. Another Neva book. I love her books. Okay, they're really good. They're very inclusive when it comes to mafia romance books um, because you don't really see a lot of characters. First of all, you don't see a lot of disabled people or people with um, mental health um, representation in romance books. You don't see a lot of it and you don't even see a lot of it specifically in mafia romance books. So I love how she highlights those voices in mafia romances specifically. Well, anyways, there you have it. Those are some new releases coming out in March. Let me know down below what books you're excited for that come out in March. I would love to know. So I can add to this list. I'm always adding books to my new releases lists. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me like the, the wave, like the sea wave emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.